<laughs> we'll work it out. Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here, Mick here, and what's my name? <laughs> I'm running on three hours sleep. Pete Thorne. Hi everybody. We so we are at TGU 19. Just in case you couldn't tell, uh, we're here at Toman. Toman, the good folks at Toman have put us up. Yeah. Uh, and we all met last night, and Pete told us something very exciting because this is the first PT15 IR in Europe. Yeah, baby. Launch back at, um, I, sorry, I keep doing this because there's a monitor there and it is physically impossible if you're being filmed not to watch the monitor. So <laughs> apologies for that. I'll try and look at the camera. Look at you guys. Um, uh, Sir launched this amp with Pete back in January, correct, at NAM? Yeah, we brought it to NAM and showed it and introduced it for the first time there. And uh, they are just building now, which is on schedule. We're about a week behind maybe, but that's it. So it's it's on schedule and, uh, and starting to ship. So they've got, I mean, the other day when I picked this one up, there was like three more being burned in and... Uh, you know, more being built as on the bench and stuff. So, so it's, a, it's all very exciting. So I think every other amp manufacturer in the world, when they looked at this amp, went, ah, yes, that's probably the amp we should be building. Yeah. There's an argument to say that this is, in, as far as a studio amp is concerned, like the most complete Amp, like studio worthy amplifier. I hope so. I mean, we tried to make something that's just so, my, here was my vision was, well, number one, there's obviously a big movement towards modelers and yep. the type of player that would find that appealing as well as just situations these days where, you know, uh, you know, folks playing on quiet stages, right. uh, you know, where you're not, you're not even allowed to have a cabinet on some of these stages sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So that sort of, uh, you know, precipitates or, you know, is, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it's pushing people in the direction yeah. of the, of the modelers and they're great for some things, you know, but what about if you're a tube amp aficionado and you just want to plug into a tube amp and yeah. tweak some knobs and get a good sound. So we're trying to bridge that gap, like make it so that th essentially with this amplifier, because it has the built in sur reactive load yeah. and it's, it's exactly duplicated, but miniaturized off of the, the full size sur reactive load, yeah. which has kind of become an industry standard, I think. And with that capability built in, as well as the impulse response capability, you can basically use this head on stone. You don't need the speakers with it. So you can take a direct line out of it and just run it right to your monitors or front of house, which, you know, instantly right there, you've got the sort of the similar capability for a low volume uh, stage situation in your monitors or that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. And you don't, but of course, if you want to use a cabinet, you just plug one in. So, and, and you can do both, one. right? Yeah, you yeah. You can do both and yeah. at the same time simultaneously. So let, let's go through that. If we start yeah. with the cabinet, okay. Right. So let's just hear the amplifier yeah. in its natural environment. Yeah, because we got it mic'd up here, so this is great. Now I dropped the speaker cable when I. Uh, I'm going to have to understand this when I edit the audio because there'll be a multi track file. Hopefully, I'll be able to work it out. 17 different tracks of audio. Yeah. All in German. <laughs> exactly right <laughs> so we've got it cranked up it's 15 watts but it's a healthy 15 watts yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah, yeah. it's that's loud that's that's yeah. pedal show worthy loud six v6s yeah. right six v6s yeah nice. yeah it's yeah. six v6s so you've got uh, you know three full channels so that um I'm over here on the let's do that so so you know we've got a little delay going in the loop right now do you want to turn well, that so off or? I, I like it but yeah it's up to you, you know? Sorry, just to say, there is a Catlin bread belly, belly pop deluxe running in the loop, which is what Pete just said. So just to make that clear, because we don't have a pedal cam, so yeah, yeah, draw it in. Yeah. So the clean channel, essentially over here, channel one. Let's just start there, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of a good way to start. We should start out just to, because it is a traditional tube amplifier. It's a three-channel yep. tube amp with mm -hmm. six V6s, twelve AX7s, and all that good stuff. So on the clean channel over here, you've got treble and bass, a gain, and a master, and a bright switch. So. <laughs> That's your basic kind of clean sound, the way I would set it up with the bright on. If you like it a little warmer, you can just turn the bright off. And then if you want to gain it up, it's got a beautiful, because it's six Vs and stuff, so if, if, you, if you want to push either the power section or just push the preamp up, we can easily get it into...
So that's channel one. And moving over to channel two. Um, oh, I keep forgetting when the when those uh, foot switch is plugged in. I can't switch. Okay, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, switch. So you got a bright switch on each channel. So that's channel two, and I mean, you can gain it down, and if you play it with single coil. Serve as an alternate clean, depending on how, sure. you know, you can warm it up a bit. And then moving over to channel three. That's channel three, and that's, yeah, that's got the bright off actually, right? Right, that's yeah. healthy, yeah. healthy, healthy lungs. That has some. Uh, yeah, it's. I'm. I'm really feeling that. Yeah, I'm. I'm really feeling that. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then if I turn it down, you can get. You know, John's masters are great. <laughs> So that's like TV volume now. That's a master volume as opposed to the reactive load? That's the master volume. Right, okay. Yeah, that's the master right now. So then if I if I pull that up, um, you know, you're gonna start to get in some, well, I guess now what we should do is maybe talk about the IRs because we're kind of showing you that now with the cab. That's coming through the mic, everything we were just listening to. Yeah. So now I simply pull this, now this is the next to impossible thing to do with, I mean. I, you've I, literally pulled, you've disconnected the, speaker. the speakers from the amplifier. Yeah. So and normally just, if you did that, it, with a normal tube amplifier, the transformer would go. Bah! Yeah, it's just going to freak out. Yeah, Hopefully, bro. maybe in the best case scenario, it'd pop a fuse before yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But with this amp, now we're coming through the, the wedges here on the floor. Now it's just DI right now. So of course wow. you, we're running these simultaneously. I think they're recording them both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, the point being you could have a cabinet live on stage and then also have this feed going to front of house. Yeah. So instead of actually having the sound go, I have to mic the amp up. It's exactly. just connect straight to the back. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and for direct on. recording and all of those. Exactly. exactly. So in the studio, you literally you don't you don't need a cab, it's just the head, put it next to your Line out. L bang it and away you go. Right into the board. And you've got a selection of that IRs actually built into the amp. That's right. So there's 16 built into the 16 slots and you can change them if you want, but it comes with a bunch of selection IRs and some of them are custom blends that I made. Right. So like if I go to channel two for a minute here. This is a selection green back uh, in a 412 Sur cabinet, mic'd with a 121 and a 57 blended. So that's what the first one one slot number one bank one slot one comes up as that but let's say you find that a little bright i can go to one two and that's going to be a blend that i made that is a little bit warmer one three is a 57 on on the same cabinet, just a 57 in what Selection calls their balance position. Some people find it a little bright, but... It'd be great if you're doing Van Halen or something yeah, like that. You know, yeah, yeah. Bright, kind of crunchy sound. And I think all of those sounds start to make sense when you hear them in a mix, right? Because yeah, you might right. you might hear that on this, uh, on this particular video and go, wow, that is bright. But w one thing I always like about your stuff, especially when, you know, when you do demos and stuff, and you recorded music is there's always a lot of presence in that guitar sound because yeah. it cuts you hear it through everything it, and you hear it in context as well in the in the context of a track yeah. and everything it's lovely so it's, i'm hearing that so going great. yeah 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 because then you know you get your lovely big fat guitar sound you stick it in a track and it's gone and it can be gone yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. can we hear that sound yeah. with a strap 
Yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I want to hear you guys play, and then I'll do, I'll do some switching. This will be fun. Yeah, it'd be good to. Um, I would very much like to hear the amp, just the straight amp as well at some point. So I don't know what this is. It's some kind of um, custom shop Paisley Strat, which immediately caught my eye. <laughs> uh, I need a talent booster as well. I just, I'll just switch you here. If you're yeah. like, okay, that's cool, but it's maybe a little edgy. We put the dark one in there too. So if I go here, it's now 57 dark. <laughs> you can't you can't have that on and not do that, can you? Um, uh, yeah, so it, it loses that very aggressive. Yeah, just a little bit, right? And then maybe you're maybe you're more a V thirty person than a greenback person. Yeah. So that's bank two. You go to bank two right here, and now I'll go to bank two. Sound number one. This is a one twenty one and a fifty seven blended on a V thirty. <laughs> Now I can just push this and I'll go to my, my custom blend. This is now going to be uh, a, a little bit warmer than that. Just a little smoother. Yeah. For folks there's, that want that. There's plenty of chew actually. There's pl you can, it feels, because as regular viewers will know, Dan and I usually hate hearing um, full range, full response cabs because we just used a guitar speaker yeah sure but yeah. It, it becomes quite addictive quite quickly have a swing on that yeah we've just got these monitors i'm not even sure what the wedges are but they sound pretty good i think they sound pretty good I can now, by holding both these buttons, I'm going to store that IR as being the one that we use on this channel, okay? And it just blinks, and now that's stored in there. Now, if I so go, so you can have separate IRs on each channel. On each channel, channel. Oh, that's right. Man. So, so you can now have an idealized cabinet for per every channel. single. So you could use an open back something or other on the, on the clean, clean channel. channel. But whatever's, so, if you're still using a regular cab, whatever's coming up there is unchanged. That's just straight from the amp. Exactly. This is just if you're whatever you're sending to the console or the. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's kind of almost like because as we all know, like changing amps is one thing, but changing speakers is and cabinets yeah, is like yeah. a massive overall filter on the sound. Absolutely. So now it can be like you've got three different cabinets for your sound when you're live. So whatever's coming going out to the house that all the people are hearing. <laughs> or you know, to, in the studio. So right now I've got the, this is V30 on channel two now uh, uh, with my kind of warm mic blend. If I go now to channel three, I believe it's gonna to go to the Greenback 12157 blend. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And you know, with the separate bright switches and stuff, you can just get so much variation. So if I go between two and three, you'll hear some different. <laughs> Delay definitely helps, right? Oh, it definitely helps. <laughs> but there's flow. I can feel that you're. I can feel that you're feeling that. Absolutely. I yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's this that thing of being connected, and I rarely get it from yeah. emulation. A direct say. thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and also, you're not you. Neither Dan nor I are really big high gain people. So no. to for you to plug into a gain sound, di'd and ir'd is. I mean that's. Pretty interesting, I would say. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, cool. I'm happy you dig. Let's try the channel one and see what, what since you mentioned gain sound, we'll go over to yeah. channel one 
And because this is really fun, I can now ex explore, like, because we're just running DI and it's mm. quiet, I can crank this master. It's 15 watts, 6v6s. So yeah. I can drive those up a little bit while you play, maybe, and I can uh, le lean into the master a bit. True 6v6, you're hearing me like just go back and forth between like grind, you know, the power section clipping or not. So it's kind of nice because if That's you get right. it up here and it starts clipping. I love 6v6s because clean, they do the fendery sparkle thing. Yeah, and then yeah, you grind yeah. them up yeah, and they yeah. just kind of go, wow. So they yeah, 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 pull this. They, they've got this broad kind of distortion. That's really neat. What's this? <laughs> I seem to have That's not your pick. found a rogue plectrum. I was playing that going, that's not right. <laughs> Flip the IRs while you play too, because I got some different open back calves in here. So you can just get all those shades of like grinding the tubes up or not, you know? Yeah. And it's kind of like you can go anywhere from a, you know, like a, 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 a sparkly blackface thing all the way up to kind of tweety, you know, drive, at least on channel one. Of course that happens on channel two so, as well. When you get into the, the gainier sounds, you can run the preamp lower and then, and then hit the amp harder. <laughs> Six or six and a half, it just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, and you can hear you can hear those the, the power section just yeah. starting to give, and you know, and the transformer and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Unreal. Can we can we hear it through the cab just for yep. the last few minutes? Please, please. A quick question about IRs. Okay. Yeah. The IRs. Are, so th that's the speaker response. Do you get any of the um, the cab? With an IR, I think so. I mean, I think you get the. It definitely sounds different if you're using an open back, say, uh, an open back, you know, with a green back or something, and then a closed back four twelve sure. or a closed back two twelve. I mean, there's very different. I yeah, think yeah. very different colors between those. Right. Um, because these are short IRs in my amp, relatively short, but right. long enough to do the close mic thing, which right. is, we've been having some debate about this on internet forums, but all the folks that I trust say that we've got 20.5 milliseconds. And yeah, if sure. you look at a close mic IR, there ain't nothing going on behind, beyond about 18. Yeah, 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 okay. You know, so that's why 20.5 is fine. For uh, sure. Just to answer so. your initial question, the IR is the speaker and the cabinet and everything. It's not, okay, it's not, not just and the, the speaker. Mic. Yeah, yeah. It's not just the speaker, right? Exactly. I, an IR, essentially, it won't capture distortion characteristics. Yeah. Um, so like speaker distortion and things like that, it doesn't get. What it does get is frequency response and early reflections and things like that. So it's like the tone of, it's, it's basically like taking a digital picture picture of what say this microphone we can make an IR of this and it's getting that mic in that position on that speaker right the, the, all the qualities yeah, yeah. of that right picture. and that's done with the the actual mic and speaker like you you, you yeah. set it up and then you record everything 
just like sampling almost. That's right. You run your what convolution. It's, it's convolution. You'll run right. a tone through the rig, mm. and it'll sweep. Generally speaking, it'll sleep like twenty to twenty k. So it'll got it and sound like right. that. Right. Okay. And and it, it paints a picture of what because it, all this stuff is altering the frequency response. Okay. As well as there's some reflections and stuff going on. The first sure. time I ever heard about convolution and and uh, you know anything to do with this kind of stuff was Altiverb, which was the reverb that you know they said, oh, you can go in and sample any environment now. Yeah, and I you remember can, that. You can put yeah. your. Uh, you know, you put a microphone in the middle of the room, and it'll, yeah, and it'll, and it's, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can put your guitar in a, in a chapel or in a whatever there type you of environment. Yeah, right. You know, by by digitally, you know, you go in and record the room, and so. Mm -hmm. But it'll also that's how, that's how they do the, uh, the you know making impulse responses for guitar speakers. Sure. So it'll capture. I mean, you move that mic an inch. You know, you move it back. It's going to capture all that stuff and right. essentially bottle yeah. that okay. sound. Yeah. yeah. Can you load your own IRs into the amp? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you just plug a USB cable uh, into the back, right into your computer, and it shows up like a hard drive on your desktop, and then you can just you know pull in new ones if you want. That'll make a lot of people very happy. Very happy. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Because everyone thinks their own so IRs cool. are the best, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But it's true. You know, you get to like bottle the sound that you like and that you're familiar with. You know, I always think about like when we played gigs and you're like, man, that was a g I was on tonight. I felt mm. good. And then, out, uh, you know, the guy that your friend or whatever in the audience comes up to you afterwards and says like, I couldn't hear you in the PA. And you look at the amp and the mic's like dangling. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's kicked it off. Mic the head. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's also getting ble uh, bleed from the bass amp in it and the drums and all that stuff. You so, know what we should do? We should IR the TPS studio. I think you should. Our, our, oh. our, our standard miking technique. Okay. We should yeah. do that. And then you could, we could record all your voiceovers at home and nobody would know. <laughs> you'd be like, it sounds the same. I like it. Awesome. Okay, Pete, thanks so much for showing us this. Hey, I think yeah. awesome. uh, what you we'd like play to do is more? just plug into the cabinet and have a listen. Yeah. Uh, should before be, we. Should be rocking. Let me know. Before we sign off, yeah? Let me know if you want me to change anything on like, the settings. That's so awesome. cool. Oh, thank that you. is so, so, yeah, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you. Just fun tools is what we like, right? Making fun tools for musicians, you know, it's cool. You do that too. When you're, yeah, yeah. You know, with yeah, I, I, I genuinely, I want to play that. That's, cool. You know, it's great. I like to hear. Great. <laughs> the man is telling us. All right. He's, he's, all right. I think he's going like this. He's going, he's going, hey guys, how are you? <laughs> how are you? How are you? Somebody How else wants to get in here. <laughs> Thank you, Brilliant, guys. Brilliant, mate. Thank you so much. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye. See ya.